everyone! So today we're going to make the fourth Bake Off box which is called Give It A Dough and contains the recipe for a chocolate and hazelnut babka. So yeah, let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so we have got our usual recipe card for the chocolate babka. Oh, if you don't know um, what it is, this is what it looks like. So it's like a plated um, chocolate and hazelnut bread. Um, it was actually a technical challenge on the Great British Bake Off last year. Um, but yeah, I'll show you again later. Right, next, in terms of ingredients, we've got some dark chocolate and cocoa powder. We have a bag of caster sugar. A massive bag of flour, we've got um, a sachet of instant yeast, a small bag of blanched hazelnuts and finally this month's piece of equipment which is a loaf tin to bake the bad pen. Okay so I think I should go wash this loaf tin, set up the ingredients and we should get ready to bake. Okay, so I've come through to the kitchen and um, I've had a little look at the recipe and I'm already going to do it <laughs> differently but just in terms of order because they say to make the filling first but the dough needs to brew for an hour so I'm going to start by making the dough and then move on to the filling while um, the dough is proving. So it says for the dough we want to weigh out 275 grams of the flour that they gave us. So there's about 300 grams in it and I think the rest is like for kneading or something later. So 275. Grams. 276, so oh wow. Add the yeast to one side of the dough, uh, the bowl. So that's the yeast, in goes the yeast. And now the sugar and salt to the other. So it's always important, never put the salt and the yeast um, together because salt kills the yeast. So always add the salt to the opposite side of the bowl. Okay, and 25 grams of the caster sugar. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna quickly mix the salt into the flour on one side, the yeast into the flour the other side, and then mix it all together. Okay, now it says we want to make a nice well in the middle. Next, we need to add the eggs and the milk. So I've got 50 milliliters of milk and two medium eggs in here. So I'm just gonna beat those together. So now I'm going to add that to the well in the middle and now it says to use a knife but I'm just going to use my hand to start mixing the dough together. So now that it's sort of starting to come together I'm just going to tip it out onto the work surface. knead it for five to eight minutes until smooth. I love kneading. I think it's one of the most satisfying things in the world. Watching a dough go from like a crumbly mess to like a smooth, stretchy dough. It's just, ugh, it's so satisfying. Okay, so the dough is kind of smooth, looking nice. Um, now they say to knead in 80 grams of room temperature butter. Now I've microwaved mine for like 10, 20 seconds because Aberdeen room temperature is not normal room temperature. So I think they mean like 21 degrees room temperature. And uh, that's not what we have. So anyway, it says to fold in or like knead in a few cubes of butter at a time. 
So that's what we're going to do. This is a bit of a greasy mess, I'm not going to lie. Um, this is not how I would normally incorporate butter into a dough. I'd normally melt it and add it sooner. Also, adding 80 grams of butter to only 300 grams of flour, that is quite a lot. Like, I'd add normally about 80 grams of butter to an enriched dough that is made with 500 grams of flour. So this is um, generous. Okay, I eventually managed to get it into a nice smooth dough, so now I'm just going to lightly grease a bowl. Oops, far too much oil. I'm using a flavourless oil, just um, some sunflower oil. You don't we want to use olive oil um, on this, and you just want to use a tiny bit, not like me, pour in half the bottle accidentally. There you go. Right, lightly greased. I'm just going to cover the dough as well a wee bit on top so that it doesn't dry out. Pop it in your bowl. And then I'll cover it with a dish towel and leave that to prove for an hour. Okay, so while the dough is proving, I'm going to make the filling so that that has time to cool. And the first step is to just toast the hazelnuts. I'm just going to tip them onto a baking tray. There we go. And now roast for four to five minutes, turning once halfway through. Luckily the oven's already on because I've been baking bread this morning. Recipes on my blog in case you're interested. Uh, but yeah, so right, four to five minutes until they are toasted. Okay, the next step whilst we're waiting is to weigh 75 grams of butter into a pot. Um, we need 110 grams of our caster sugar. There we go. And the dark chocolate. Chocolate. In it goes. Okay, and now we heat that uh, over a low heat until melted, and then we pour in the cocoa powder, and then that's the filling done. Okay, so that's the hazelnuts toasted. Um, I'm just going to leave them to cool a wee bit before chopping them, and now I'm going to add the cocoa powder to the melted chocolate butter sugar mixture and then just leave it to cool. So it says to finely chop one half and roughly chop the other half. Okay, so before we move on to shaping the dough, we're going to line and prepare our loaf tin. So the Bake Off box this month actually came with a loaf tin to bake your babka in. I mean, I already have a loaf tin, but now I have another one. <laughs> but, and obviously it's a kind of nice Bake Off one. Um, so yeah, you might be wondering, how do you grease a loaf tin? So the best thing to do is to get a strip of baking paper that like go roughly, oops, so easy, roughly fit your loaf tin. Then you want to grease it. I'm lazy, I've got this butter spray thing. I'm just gonna quickly spray it. 
rub it a little bit with the butter and then you want to just lay the strip of baking paper across your baking tin so that it hangs over on each side and that just means that later you can just lift out the babka or whatever cake you're making by the sides of the tin and yeah that's it super easy peasy okay so i think the dough has roughly doubled in size it's always hard i always think oh has it doubled in size because I, I can never remember how big it was before anyway it looks like it's roughly doubled in size it looks nice so we're going to turn it out onto the work surface and knock it back so knocking back means just pressing out some of the air again using your fingertips that's very easy to do and now what we're going to do is we're going to dust the surface with a bit of the remaining flour from earlier I'm going to shape the dough already into like a rough rectangle. And now roll it into roughly 30 by 35 centimetres. Okay, so now that the dough's all rolled out, I'm gonna use some of the chocolate filling from earlier that's gone quite hard. I'm just gonna spoon it, dollop it onto the dough and then spread it out into one smooth layer. And you can either do this using a metal spoon or a little palette knife like this. And then just spread it out, leaving about one centimetre of border around the sides. And now that the chocolate's spread out, we're going to take our chopped hazelnuts from earlier and just um, sprinkle them all over the top. Okay, now comes the fun bit of rolling it up. So we're going to start from the longer ed fa edge facing towards us and roll it up into a big sausage. And then what I normally do, I sort of pull the edges like so. So this is very similar to the German Nusszopf recipe that I make. So I feel like I kind of know what I'm doing here. And then turn it towards you like so, so that it's facing down the middle of your work surface. Okay, next we're wanting to take a sharp knife and trim roughly two centimeters from the ends of each door. They say to discard the leftovers, but I'm actually going to keep them because and just bake them like so because they'll be nice <laughs> so and then what we want to do is we want to cut the roll down the middle um, so I would normally not cut the whole thing at once I would cut halfway fold it over and then turn it and then do the other half and um, that, that's how I do my German Nusszopf and um, check out the recipe there I think there's a picture for that um, but I, today I'm going to do it how the Bake Off box suggests, which is to slice it down the entire length of the um, this roll. So yeah, that's what we're going to try. Okay, next we're going to plait them to, together. So we're going to pinch them together at the top and then just fold one strand over to the other. Now we're going to take our prepared tin and gently lift our babka into the tin. So this is what the babka looks like in its tin. As you can see, um, it still has room 
to expand and prove. So we're going to cover this with a tea towel and again leave for one to two hours until doubled in size and puffy again. So it's been about two hours and uh, the babka is well risen. It fills almost the entire tin. So now it's time to bake it. Once uh, the babka is out of the oven, I will make a sugar syrup to then brush the babka with. And yeah, then all we need to do is leave it to cool and then we can slice it. Okay, so the chocolate babka is ready and I've got Evie here to try it. Woo! Are you ready? Oh, I'm so excited. Good. Do you know what a chocolate babka is? Absolutely not, but okay. I see one before me. Yes, it's basically, do you remember that nut thing that I used, I've made before? Like what I make for my dad? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Vaguely. Okay, you re I vaguely really don't remember. remember. Anyway, so it's basically like this, but it's filled with like chocolate and hazelnut and it's like a, an enriched dough. <sighs> Delicious. Anyway, does it look like the picture? Have I done okay? It's, it looks better than the picture. That is the correct the answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that, but uh, yeah. Not yes. Oh, okay. boy. Let's try it. I've got a team. I didn't even bring cutlery. We're just going to yeah, shove our faces like, straight into well, it. Well, in Germany, this is the kind of thing you would not you would always have. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I'm loving how chocolatey my bit is. I, the chocolate's like still runny, which is so nice. Oh yeah, that is so good. It's so chocolatey. So, what I thought was cool was that the filling is both cocoa powder and real chocolate. I love that. And mm -hmm. I feel like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It tastes so um, hazelnutty as well, it's like Nutella. It is exactly, like when I roast, so I, you toast the hazelnuts in the oven oh. before putting them in, and when I got them out with the chocolate next to it, it just smelled like Nutella. Nutella without palm oil, woo! Exactly, oh, exactly. This is the stuff. It's. I really like this. I am loving this. This would be right up my dad's street. I am honestly loving this. And it said it's up my street. How it's so that? sticky though. Oh. Well, yeah. So it came out of the oven. I thought, mm, looks a wee bit dry, but then you put like a sugar syrup on top, which then adds to why it's so sticky and mm, mm. the unhealthiness of it. But. Mm. So good. Success. Oh. Huge success. Is this a favourite? I think so this is my favourite. What have we had? Ah, chocolate cake. The ban banana. mini banana loaf mm -hmm. cakes—they were definitely the worst mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so far. Like not terrible. They were still tasty. They were, yeah. Say yes to cake. The lemon slices last month were good. They were good. But this. But this is better. This is better. This best. also was nice. It required a bit more skill. Mm -hmm. I mean, it took me. It took all day to do it because you have so much like proving. Mm -hmm. But oh my god, it's totally worth it. it Look how aesthetically pleasing it is. It's nice. Yeah. Mm. I think it goes this, then the lemon, then the chocolate cake from week one. The like famous bake off chocolate cake. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. So far, this is the best. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Only to come back in the summer and but the you know do the other bake off boxes. From last month's one was the best. That grater, I mm. love it. This had a little it was bit great. of the tin. It was mm. great. <laughs> Whereas this one had like a loaf tin. Mm -hmm. Which I already have. <laughs> so it's a yeah, bit like yeah. Um, anyway, this was a great recipe. Oh, huge um, success. Are you um, gonna change anything? No, I think this one. Mm -hmm. I love just the way it is. It's delicious. I was first thinking it might need like a sugary glaze. That's what my other one does. But with the with the syrup, oh, it's not dry at all. It's so chocolatey. I mean, yeah. our fingers say it all. <laughs> ah, so good. So right. good. Okay. Would recommend to a friend. But me too. Right. Well. The recipe will all be on my blog, so all your friends can make it. And um, yeah, anyway. Well, this might be the last one Bake Off box we try together. Wrong. Um, I imagine your viewers are going to start like hiring me oh, in full time, you know? Oh, we'll do like you know? a Zoom call next time. Oh, nice. Uh, but then, uh, and I'll just eat something I'll unrelated. Just but then how yeah, you try I'll just be eating my cat dinner. <laughs> yes, okay, we'll do that. Right, right. okay. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> And a happy new year! <laughs>